If you're sick and tired of getting hair stuck in the main brush of your existing current robot vacuum cleaner and you've got a lot of hair generally in your household and you have pets, animals about that are leaving fur, then you probably want to get an advanced robot vacuum like this because in my time testing it out, this main brush, thanks to its zero tangle technology, does not get any hair and stuck in it at all. Now the brand I'm talking about here is Ecovax, and by the way this video is sponsored. And the model, the Ecovax T30S AI, because yes, it does have AI, it's 2024, and everything's about AI, right? But it has AI instant mop. We've got suction performance, which is very impressive. It's 11,000 PA, and as mentioned, with that zero tangle technology, so no hair's gonna get stuck in it. And then this, which is the all-in-one Omni Station. So here is where it is going to wash those mops at 70 degrees Celsius. And then once it's finished doing all the mopping, it will dry them in here too. And that will take between about two to four hours and it'll be completely dry then. And so there's no smells, no odor at all coming from them. And it does have their true edge, which is mop extension. So it gets right up to the edges. You've probably seen this with some of the other products from Ecovax that I have covered. And the navigation, well, it's using True Mapping 2.0 and this is very good because it's LiDAR. So it is very accurate. And finally, AI VI 3D obstacle avoidance. So it's using structured light with its cameras. It can detect normal, typical household objects that are about like shoes, socks, toys, and avoid those. And I'll be testing that out in this video. Included with our DBot T30S AI, you'll find our base. We have an instruction manual, our side sweeper brush, and its power cable. And here is our all-in-one Omni station. So this is where it goes to wash the mops, then dry them, and it also auto empties itself. And the capacity of this dustbin, 60 days, it is three liters. Removing that dustbin is easy. So you press there, it just pops down the lid. And then when you do pull it out, it seals itself. And that way you're gonna have no dust and dirt escaping. You simply just throw that in your rubbish bin. Now along the top here, there is a physical button. So you can press this to start and stop the clean or press and hold and then it will do its self clean. The water tanks are accessible from the top here. So you simply lift up the lid. We have our clean water on the right hand side, very easy to remove. And then the dirty water is on the left hand side, the gray tank. So the washboard area of the T30S AI is removable. There's a little blue tab here, press that and it comes out for easy maintenance to clean this. So we do have an RGB camera at the front. It does have a status LED on at the moment because I have it activated just for the video here. And now you set a password for this. If you're worried about privacy, well, it's your password that you use. You get the status LED here that's in white. And there's a voice prompt too as well that does tell you that the camera is activated. And it does have their voice assistant with the microphones there on the top. That's how it picks up your voice. And I'll just quickly give you a demonstration here of what it's like. Okay, Yiko. Yes. Start cleaning. Okay, start cleaning the whole house. The port for the auto empty, it's gonna all be sucked through this one right here on the side. You can see our charging contacts. We have infrared at the back to line it up with the base station. And this is the point where it will refill the internal tank. Now with these mops here, they also do have auto lift of nine millimeters. There are hardware buttons here at the front. So we have our power on and off, spot clean and to return to the base station. Accessing the internal dustbin is not difficult to simply remove the lid. It's held in place with magnets and if you do need to take this internal dustbin out, it's got a little handle, you pull up on that and then the whole thing just pops out and that's where you can change and clean that washable filter. It has Osmo Turbo Mopping, we've seen this on the other models here. So both of those mops do spin at 180 RPM, they apply 7 newtons of downwards pressure. There's magnets holding them into place so they are very easy just to pop off and clean them. Now this vac has an impressive 11,000 PA of suction performance that I'll be testing very shortly in this video. We have our 360 degree wheel at the front, carpet detection sensor, full sensors on the side, single side sweeper brush, gaining access to this for maintenance, very easy, just pull those two little blue tabs together and that brush then easily just comes out and you can see inside the special comb there and the angle of these brushes is slightly different so no hair is going to get stuck in that. So the navigation of it using its LiDAR true mapping 2.0 has been really great and the AI VI 3D obstacle avoidance working well too and I tested it with a shoe, child's toy, a cable 
and you can see that in the sock too that it went all around everything and this is good now it would occasionally bump into things but it didn't go over them and get stuck, which is the main thing. And I tested this for some time and it, it didn't have any problems at all. So it passed my check with the AI obstacle avoidance, which is very good. And that mapping was efficient too as well in the house. And it went around all the furniture that it goes around the edges first. And because it has a true edge with the mopping with the Osmo Turbo Mops, which by the way, spin at 180 RPM, applying seven Newton meters of pressure, did a good job around the house of cleaning. So it will go in and around the furniture, get into the more tighter spaces without any problems, because under beds, all that sort of standard stuff that I show in my other videos, all good, no issues with the navigation, and I found it to be great there. But what about that zero tangling tech and the 11,000 PA of suction performance? Well, with my carpet test here, and again, I used my two donors for the cat fur, so Snow and Vera, and mostly Vera with her black fur because it stands out more on this particular carpet I have. And I put down some cornflakes, some cat food too as well, and long hair too. So there's quite a mess here. There's a lot for it to clean up. And you can see that the Dbot T30S AI on the first pass did a very good job, I think, considering just how much of a mess this really was. It was very dirty. And on the second pass, a lot better here. Now you can see as it zigs, zags and goes the other direction, opposite direction. And that 11,000 PA doing a very good job to pick up basically everything. So got it all. And of course, this footage has been sped up to uh, 300 or 400 times here, just so we don't have to sit through it. Otherwise, it's going to be way too long. And finally, there was just one little bit that was left, a tiny piece of cornflake somehow that was maybe flicked out of the way. But anyway, around 99% coverage, which is very good. It got everything. The vacuuming performance is excellent. But the main one is like what I talked about at the start here. What about hairs? All those hairs that I were vacuuming up and the cat fur, was it stuck in the main brush? Well, because of the zero tangle technology we've got with this, well, no, there's nothing really. When I look through it, all I could find was one small little cat piece of cat fur. That was it, and it's a white color, so I believe that's probably from snow, and that was it. And I think that's impressive, so none of the long hairs are getting stuck in it. So after that vacuuming test, you can see the contents of our internal dust bin with our robot vacuum, that it's got all the dust in here in there. You can see all the cornflakes and everything. So how does the auto empty station work then? The all-in-one on the station, well, it's going to empty it out to our three liter internal dustbin. And here's a sample of what it sounds like. It's basically a vacuum turning on and it has an internal vac in there. That's why it's reasonably loud as you hear from this. So that is pretty standard. And then looking at the results now of the dustbin, did it get everything? You can see that it did basically, there's just a few little tiny particles left behind on the filter inside there, but really did a good job of getting out all the hair, all those cornflakes, everything all gone. And now onto the mopping performance, which is one of the strengths, I think definitely of EcoVax with their Osmo Turbo Mopping System. So this does a very good job, I think, and I've got a stubborn stain for it. The typical test that I do with all the robot vacuum uh, tests that I carry out in the channel here and it's coffee with mud mixed together and let to dry I dry it with a hair dryer to so make sure it's baked on so it's a very Stubborn stain you typically would clean something up straight away if you saw it But no, I let it sit and dry here. So it's worst case scenario So again, I give them two passes here and applying that seven Newton meters of pressure with those mops spinning at 180 rpm the first pass was very good. You can see that, again, this is sped up footage that it got uh, really everything. I can see there are some marks in there, but going over with the second pass again in the opposite direction, just like when it vacuums, it got everything and a really good job here. You can see just a couple of specks, but again, those are the chips on my tiles that are not gonna go anywhere. Now the mops looking at them, expecting them to be very dirty. Of course they are, they are covered with coffee. So very brown and extremely filthy. 
But we have hot water washing here with our all-in-one Omni station. Now this cleans those mops at 70 degrees Celsius. So I'm expecting pretty good results here. So that is the before now, we'll have a look at the after. But this is what it sounds like, just to give you a sample of when it does wash those mops. And then with the camera, you can also log into it and get a live view, and this is what it is like. And I think this is great for pet owners. If you wanted to check up on your pets, well, that's what I was doing here. I can see how they're doing, and you can also patrol your house with the T30S AI and just get a general idea of how the house is and make sure that, say, no one's entered. So good for peace of mind. So there we go, that is the Ecovax D-Bot T30S AI. And I think for me, one of the standout features is the 11,000 PA of suction performance. So it did a really good job of the carpets and then the zero tangle brush that just doesn't get hair stuck in it. Perfect, that's what we want. Finally, we're getting there. It's taken them years, but we are here now that it's not gonna be an issue to have that main roller always stuck with hair. The all-in-one Omni Station, very good, of course, for the hot water washing at 70 degrees, dry the mops there, empty out the dustbin. It really is very maintenance-free. I mean, it is hands-free. You don't have to do anything apart from top up the water, empty the wastewater. You've got a one, button tap there too as well to start it and if you double tap on that then it will auto empty and auto clean which is another great feature that it's got and that mopping as i showed you really good performance there so it's got i think this model here so many bases covered and then the ai features yes handy to have the stain detection there so it can remop certain areas that may need it, which will be useful in busy areas, often dirty areas, where the floors can sometimes get stains dropped on them. Kitchens, for example, I think that's going to definitely help out. Now, this is part of the T30 family here of the D-Bot series. So the D-Bot series, you've got your T30S, uh, you have the SAI here, you've got the combo model that I have covered in the channel, and do check the link in the description of this video to find out more and the pricing of this model here. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.